this is Hula Chowdown from Horses and Hula Chowdown. So basically today I'm going to do a get ready with me kind of thing because I got a ton of new products from Sephora. You saw some of the things that came in, but ever since that last video, the last little bit came in. So I kind of want to like show you them, but also try them out. So let's get started. Basically, I already washed my face. There's no makeup on, as you can tell. Um, my hair's half back, so that is out of the way. Um, and I got this Mario Badescu, like, witch hazel and rose water toner. So I'm going to put a bit of that on because I love this stuff. This stuff is awesome. If you have a kind of acne prone skin but you want something gentle like I really like this because like I I don't know I just have really acne prone skin but at the same time it's also kind of dry so I don't like putting anything too harsh on it okay so that should be good did I get any creams because I definitely brought a cream in case I didn't okay I didn't think I bought any creams so I'm just going to use my Tarte Bomba Bum. Ever since I got this, I've been loving it for putting on under makeup because it's, it's just so smoothing and like, I don't know, like it really is smoothing and it just makes everything glide on perfectly and it makes my skin so soft. I don't have like any dry patches anymore, so that's great. So, here, I got some primer from Ordinary. It's the High Spreadability Fluid Primer. So, yeah, I like to try primers. And you just kind of spread it out. Like I put like two drops on my forehead, one on my nose, and one on my chin. And I just spread it out. I know this is probably not how you're supposed to put makeup on. That's how I put my makeup on. You know, you all do things a little differently, I guess. Okay, well, I'm gonna let that dry for a sec. So I got two of these Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation sticks. I got one in warm porcelain and the other one in warm alabaster. I'm not sure which color I am right now, so I guess we will see. They were on sale, so I bought them because I seen that they're a good brand and People said they weren't like super heavy duty, but like I'm not really looking for heavy duty. Okay, so there's that one. Or there's that one. Hmm. I think this one is almost a touch too light. Let's see how they blend out. They're pretty much the same. I think I'm gonna go with the lighter one and then I'll, I can always warm it up a bit with the darker one. So yeah, pretty much just put it all over. That's why I love stick foundation. I just kind of put it like where I need it. Boop, okay. And I use my wet beauty blend, well damp, damp beauty blender to help it beat it in. I know you can probably use your fingers or brushes or whatever, but you know. And then you put a bit more on like any of the spots you want to cover. And I'm literally doing this in the viewfinder, so I don't have a mirror. You know? So I'm just kind of going off what I see. I'm going to put a little here. 
you know? Because I can maybe use this just as like a full face thing. Don't use concealer, maybe. So we'll see. I think I like that one. The warm one might have been a slightly better choice, but it's hard because I'm kind of like pretty pale. Because I always wear sunscreen, so let's just see. I feel like adding a bit of the darker one in the corners and stuff will like warm the color up. It will. Yeah, that's fine. And I can like totally blend them and customize it. I usually have to because my skin tone is just really weird and apparently nobody stocks a color that covers it. And it also changes very frequently because I'm outside a lot, even if I wear sunscreen. But then I scrub my face, so it's quite pale compared to, like, the rest of me. Okay, so that should be good. I got the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I got it in Fair. I probably should have gotten it in Light, but let, let's see. Let's see. I mean, for under the eye, it's not a terrible thing if it's a bit, you know. And I like to use my finger here because it just like warms up the concealer and spreads it a bit better. I mean, not that I really know what I'm doing, but this is what someone taught me and honestly it works better than using a big beauty blender and then I do have like these teeny tiny ones well this is a medium one yes and then this is a teeny tiny one so then I'll go in with the teeny tiny one after and I just have them in like these cute little like egg holder things they're not egg they're like beauty sponge holders and they're really cool you can get them on Amazon they're really cool but yeah you just go on Amazon for that I have like a red spot on my nose and it just won't go away. Let's see. There. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. Like, I heard that, like, that foundation doesn't really cover stuff, but, like, I don't know what people are trying to cover, because it covered it for me, like, really well. Okay, so we have options for blush because I went a bit crazy. So I got like some Kajah stuff, which I love Kajah stuff. Kajah stuff, I, that's even how you say it. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know, I really like it. Let me take it off. Remove this film before using products. Well, yeah, because you can't get into the product without removing the film. It's a little heart thing. Let's see what that looks like. What do you think? <laughs> it doesn't really feel like that how it should be on your face, but it totally is. Uh, let's go with the pink one. And then you can just blend it. And that works pretty well. That's kind of cool. I also got the Mochi Minis from Kajal. They're just like mini things. And one's a highlighter. Not that I need highlight, because I already glow. Because this is definitely a dewy finish foundation and concealer. It does not go matte. But that's okay, because I kind of like that dewy, radiance look. I mean, wow, look at that. Like, I just, like, put it on with my fingers. And then this is like a blush. 
you just put that on with a brush. I like these. These are cute. They work really well. And the Kajal thing stamp blush came with this like lip chap and it's like in the shape of a heart so it's really cute I think it's just like a nice nude color I have some of these I really like them I use them a lot and they're very hydrating and they're slick you know but I did also splurge and buy the Nex Orgasmic Fantasy Trio because I love NARS. Did I say NYX? I meant NARS. I love NARS. I've always loved this blush. I'm pretty sure this was the first blush I got that wasn't like cheap dollar store stuff. And it has the little blusher and a little bronzer. So because I don't have enough blush on. Um, I don't really have another brush, but here. Because I don't know how to contour. I just kind of go like this with my bronzer. Someone told me it was like you make a three on your face and that like bronzer you. I don't know. I usually don't use bronzer to be honest. I just go outside. Yeah, like I'm outside all the time. So for me, tanning is like just a consequence of my life. And with the NARS, you get pretty kind of clear shimmery shimmery gloss and of course you get a lipstick yeah this is a lipstick the orgasmic lipstick but it's like more like a gloss really like it's like a light pink i don't know if you can see that you can barely see it but it's just like a nice shiny neutrally kind of color so that's fine i got my cloth here um, and then I got also some Winxy Lux because I love Winxy Lux. Oh my god. And this is the confetti balm, but it's in lavender. So it like looks like this. Like that's it's like so beautiful, right? And then you swatch it. And it goes to this really pretty pink. So it's like customized for you kind of deal. So it like changes colors and it's really beautiful. Like really beautiful. Like definitely gonna be one of my favorites. Um, I also got this Ordinary Cold Pressed Moroccan Argan Oil. Um, I just got that because like I like to put argan oil in my hair. I like to sometimes put it on my face or like my hands or put it in my bath and it's just it's really nice like I really I enjoy that you know and as a sample I got your pump and volume so let's see This is really hard to do, just looking at the little screen. And I already got some. I'm like trying not to stab myself in the eye too. You know, trying to get mascara. Good considering I don't have any in there. 
mean, you can see them. They're peepers. They got they got the feather in. It. Looks good. And I also got this Artiste Couture Diamond Glow Powder, which is I'm assuming a highlighter powder. I get like samples and things like that when I buy these boxes. So, oh my gosh, of course the box is one of those like really hard to open ones. Okay, so that's just like a tiny little like artiste couture highlight thing. I mean, I guess you could use it for like whatever. Like, I guess I'll use it as eyeshadow because I don't have eyeshadow while I'm here. I can put it to the test. I mean, I think if you had a brush instead of your finger, this would be a lot easier or even like a palette or something to dump it on i guess i could put it like in the back of one of my hands and then go like oh yeah that was easy wow okay that is some shimmer 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 Okay, this is looking a little insane. <sighs> but yeah, it did work better when I dumped it out and just like kind of... Eh, let's just dust off the excess there. There. That looks a lot less crazy. Yeah, so pretty much that's the makeup I ordered. I also got um, the Verb Reset and Renew kind of sealing balm it's just like to spray on your head it's black. and i also got the igk anti-social overnight bond building hair mask so like yeah basically you spray it in your hair overnight and it makes your hair better apparently it's, i like to give these things a try because i have lots of hair and it does need help so I will let you know if I like it, or maybe I will only let you know if I really don't like it, but whatever. If you're interested, I might make a video on all my hair products. Comment below if you want more of that. Otherwise, just keep living your awesome life. You're amazing. You made it through almost a 20 minute video of me randomly putting on makeup. And I'm not a YouTuber, so like that is commitment. Definitely commitment. You are awesome. You are amazing. I love you. I appreciate you. And honestly, without you, I would not be here, you know, in this situation. So thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get alerted when I put out new videos. Also, like or dislike, whichever you want, and make sure you comment so I can hear all your funny stories or just say hey or if you don't like it you could say I don't like it okay it's easy people you know move on thank you for watching and goodbye